What's up, board game people? As promised, we're back today with a quick look at the new Euthia, Torment of Resurrection, and Fierce Powers campaign on GameFound. This campaign has taken an already huge game and supersized it in the best way possible. We'll take a look at the new content, what's being reprinted, and what you should get if you're just jumping into the world of Euthia. Before we begin, Daya Games likely has no idea who I am. I do not receive any money from them for making this video. I make these videos to help spread the word about games I think gamers like me might be interested in. If I get something wrong or you disagree with something I say, let me know in the comments and we can discuss like adults. If you want to see more content on board games both crowdfunded and retail, hit that subscribe button and help us grow. Oh, and welcome to the Looney Bin. So quickly, let's take a look at what Euthia Torment of Resurrection is. It's an open world RPG played through a selection of replayable scenarios. The game can be played in a competitive mode, co-op, or solo. Each hero brings unique skill trees and abilities to the table and you'll progress your character throughout the scenario, making them stronger and more versatile. Your actions and decisions gain you wealth and fame that you can use to unlock abilities and allow you to customize your gear. The map is modular, built from tiles that are placed differently every time you play. No two games are really going to be the same. Generally, right here is where I'd be yelling about the lack of different scenarios, but in Euthia, each scenario stays fresh, can be played in any mode, and with the Crawling Shadows expansion that we'll discuss shortly, each scenario playthrough will play differently without a doubt and lead to unique discoveries and experiences. New in the campaign, they're introducing the Fierce Powers expansion. In Fierce Powers, you'll face off against dark forces that are tormenting the land. A new hero, Eltria, joins the fray, bringing with her familiars under her command. You'll face new enemies, explore unique map tiles, face off against new elementals, and even the original heroes will get some love in the form of new abilities. In the Crawling Shadows expansion, we're introduced to a new campaign, an epic three-scenario campaign. We'll see you going toe-to-toe -to -toe against the rising power of a necromancer Automa. You'll explore an epic dungeon and complete multiple quest lines in search of gold and glory. This expansion also offers new options for cooperative events and mechanics that can be used with all existing scenarios. Put it all together and you're looking at an absolutely massive sprawl of content, components, and minis. The miniatures aren't your typical dinky little miniatures that you'll normally find on a hex-based map either. Even the character minis stand tall and proud, towering over the game board. The sculpts are great, and the details in the character of the minis stand out, and they're offering reasonably priced sundrop or blackwash for these miniatures as well. I would totally recommend this for these minis. They come out looking great, and if you're like me, it removes some of the guilt of not painting them. On a side note, whoever painted the new minis for the Fierce Powers pictures in this campaign needs to contact me. I want this person painting my minis. If you have the time and talent, these minis paint up fantastically. Daya Games really listened to the fans, and this reprinting is pulling out all the stops. The original player boards allowed counters and item cards to slide around all too easily, so they're including the option to get double-layered player boards. Probably one of my biggest asks after seeing the originals. They're also adding card organizers to go along with the token organizers from the original printing. These items are available in the add-on section and also included in the returning backers bundle and the ultimate bundle. Let's dive into the pledge levels and get an idea of where you want to start throwing your wallet. What they're really pushing here, for any new backer at least, is the ultimate bundle which they're asking 349 euros for. In this you get pretty much everything minus your choice of Sundrop or Blackwash for the minis and the Crawling Shadows expansion. You get the core game, the miniatures pack for the core, the Fierce Powers expansion, the miniatures pack for the Fierce Powers, the Elementals expansion with Sundrop, the component organizer set, the card organizer set, the dual layer hero boards, the metal coins, and the dice trays. This is an expensive bundle, but if you want it all, it's worth it. You can pledge for just the Fierce Powers expansion with standees for 85 euros. You can grab the Fierce Powers expansion pledge with minis for 105 euros. You can pledge and get the original core with standees for 115 euros. Or you can get the original core with the miniatures box for 129 euros. If you're a returning backer and want to grab everything new, you'll want the returning backers bundle, which will get you the Fierce Powers expansion, the miniatures pack for Fierce Powers, the Crawling Shadows expansion, the card organizer set, the dual layer hero boards, the dice trays, and the card sleeves. If you'd like to just grab the gameplay elements, the gameplay all-in bundle is the one you'll want. This will get you the core game, the miniatures pack, the Fierce Powers and the miniatures pack, the Crawling Shadows expansion, and the Elementals expansion in Sundrop. Overall, there are quite a few options to choose from. The bundles are a great deal, with some decent discounts applied. 
I don't specifically need or want the dice trays, but it's far cheaper for me to get the returning backers bundle than to build it myself from the add-on section. I find it odd they didn't include the Crawling Shadows expansion with the Ultimate Bundle, and I wonder if the, its omission is to help reduce the sticker shock for the all-in dive. Honestly, if you're getting that bundle, you'll likely want the Crawling Shadows as well. It's the expansion in this campaign that I'm most excited for. The biggest thing to keep in mind here is that none of these bundles will get you the Sun Drop or the Black Wash on the minis for the Core or Fierce Powers. If you want this option, you need to grab them from the add-on section. If you're having trouble figuring out which pledge is for you, you can find a what's inside chart on the campaign page that may help you out. So what about them stretch goals? This campaign has opted for every other day reveals of stretch goals. So every odd number day of the campaign will be seeing something new added to the pot. The first reveal was the Tame the Colossus scenario being added to the Fierce Powers expansion. This comes with either a miniature or a standee depending on which version of Fierce Powers you're getting. This guy will wander the land creating havoc. Evil minions are attempting to bind the big guy with their dark magic and you must claim him first. Unlock 2 looks to be more cards or components, and Unlock 3 appears to be another giant miniature and perhaps a scenario to go with it? The more the merrier. The add-on section for this campaign is huge and you almost need a map to navigate it. I'm not going to run through each item individually, but I will point out a few things that you might want or you might miss. If you did not follow the campaign prior to launch and you don't have it, I suggest grabbing the Griffin Mini Expansion. This little guy allows you to fly around the map from time to time and the Mini looks awesome as well. He already comes in the reprint of the core game, the ultimate bundle, and the gameplay all in. The Elementals Expansion is from the original campaign and available in the add-ons if you need a copy. You can get it with Minis and Sundrop or Standees. While the organizer section may seem a bit overkill, this game has a ton of components. Don't say I didn't warn you. You'll want some way to keep them organized and prevent them from taking over your table. And the organizers do a grand job. In the deluxe component section, I'd say you want the double layered hero boards if you're not already getting them. These are really a must have. Finally, don't ignore the sun drop section. These minis look great with sun drop and it can save you some personal agony if you're like me and have big dreams of painting everything that ever comes in your house. Shipping and VAT will be added in the pledge manager. There is a shipping chart with estimates, but they'll be calculating shipping based off the weight in the pledge manager. The packaging for the original campaign was excellent. Even my box that went through a few hands and a move before being taken out of the original shipping packaging was in perfect condition. Overall, if you're looking for a tabletop RPG in a box, or in this case, several boxes, then this really is the game you need to be looking at. This game can be a bit rules heavy, and there are several books you'll be contending with. You have your rule book, a scenario book, a separate appendix, and achievement sheets. Thankfully, there isn't excessive flipping back and forth between the different books. The rules aren't too hard to learn, but you'll devote a bit of playtime in your first scenario to learning the order of turns and the ins and outs of combat. To that note, the first scenario is a really great learner scenario and doesn't last too long, so start there if you're new or teaching someone new. My second note of caution would be don't try to open the box at the beginning of game night and throw it on the table. You'll have a much more pleasant experience playing and learning to play if you take some extra time before game night to punch out the massive amount of tokens, tiles, boards, and other components and organize them. Did you catch that? I said to organize them. If you just throw everything in piles on the table, you might make it through just fine, but you'll spend half your time trying to locate the components you're looking for. There's a good and solid reason they're offering so many table organizers for this game. They really are needed and useful. Last, the game can be a bit of a table hog. The first scenario is small and you can get by with a smaller table or a coffee table for it, but you'll want a bigger play space for the rest of the scenarios. They tend to have sprawling maps, and then smashing player boards and components and organizers around the maps makes for a bit of a beast of a game. Final word on would I back this if I didn't already own the core game, which I do? It would be a resounding yes. Even seeing the large price of entry if you want to grab everything, I would still say it's a solid back. You are likely easily going to get your money's worth here. If you can't swing at all, I'd like to say you're safe grabbing just the core and picking up the expansions as you go, but it's hard to say when they'll be made readily available. There will certainly be copies available on the secondary market though, so if you really want them you should be able to find them. And I guess one last final word of warning, it looks like they're changing the boxes from the initial release and hopefully they'll be smaller, but currently just the core game with the legendary box, which was just organizers and such, it currently occupies two Calyx cubes in my game room. The trick with the original boxes is that after you punched everything out, you could condense them down to one box pretty easily. 
Any way they do it, though, you're looking at a small mountain of boxes showing up when this gets to your door. I'm truly hoping they come up with some type of storage solution for the entire collection at some point during the campaign. So, that's Youthia in a nutshell. The campaign is running until mid-May, so you have a bit of time to decide if you want to back or not. Thanks for watching all the way through. We have a big news and updates video coming at the end of the week. If you like this kind of board game coverage and want to join our awesome community of gamers, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Have a great week and remember to play something fun tonight.